nothing but a chem thing, baby. Too flipped out, teachers going crazy. Lancaster is a district that pays me. Unbreakable, so please don't try to break this. But uh, back to the lecture at hand. Accurate precision. Hey, shoot, we gotta get this organic video done. I'm coming. Yeah, here you are. So I was looking at this bottle of hexane and uh, I can't figure it out. Is it organic or not? It's of course. Oh, it is, oh, okay. Yeah. What, like, what, what are you doing? Well, you said it was organic. Yeah, but organic means it just has carbon atoms. Oh. Organic chemistry key concept one. Organic compounds contain carbon atoms, which bond covalently to other atoms. The carbon atoms may bond to each other, forming chains, rings, and networks in a variety of shapes. Carbon is special. It can form four bonds, unlike other elements. This leads to a wide variety of different structures that can form. Organic chemistry key concept two. The names for organic molecules are derived using the IUPAC system as described on tables P, Q, and R. Now table P is used to determine the prefix for how many carbons you have in your long carbon chain. Table Q is used to determine whether you have an alkane, alkene, or an alkyne based on the single, double, or triple bonds present between those carbon atoms. And table R is used for naming organic compounds that contain functional groups. Organic chemistry key concept three. Hydrocarbons are compounds that contain hydrogen and carbon only. Saturated hydrocarbons contain all single carbon-carbon bonds, while unsaturated hydrocarbons contain at least one multiple bond. Tables P and Q are used to identify and name these compounds. Let's take a look at table Q, the homologous series of hydrocarbons. There are three different series, alkanes, alkenes, and alkynes. Looking at the alkanes, we see that they have the general formula CnH2n plus two, where n is the number of carbon atoms. Because alkanes have only single bonds, we consider them to be saturated hydrocarbons. Notice how they always end in the ending A-N-E. Alkenes and alkynes have different general formulas, and they contain double or triple bonds. We consider them to be unsaturated hydrocarbons. Notice how alkenes always have the ending ENE -E, and alkynes have always have the ending YNE. -E. Organic chemistry key concept four. Functional groups are embedded in organic molecules and provide them with their distinct and different properties. Primary functional groups can be found on table R. So looking at table R, we can determine which class of compound we have by looking at the functional group column to see what is attached to our carbon chain. We then go over to the example column to figure out the proper way to name that particular organic compound. Organic chemistry key concept five. Due to the flexible bonding abilities of carbon, most organic compounds can be rearranged into alternate structures with the same number and types of atoms as the original, but have distinctly new properties. These variations are called isomers. In our first example, we have two structures. They have the same number of C's, H's, and O's. They're both alcohols as well. However, we've moved the position of that OH group. And in doing so, we've created a new set of properties. These two structures are isomers of each other. In our second example, we again have the same number of C's, H's, and O's between the two structures. However, in one, we're an alcohol for our functional group, and in the other, we are an ether as our functional group. Again, we have distinctly different properties, but these two structures are still isomers of one another. Organic chemistry key concept six. There are a number of chemical reactions that are associated with organic compounds. They include addition, substitution, polymerization, esterification, fermentation, saponification, and combustion. Addition is the organic equivalent of a synthesis reaction, coming together to form a larger molecule. 
Substitution is an exchange of atoms on a hydrocarbon. Polymerization is many small organic compounds coming together to form one very large chain. Esterification is always the reaction of an organic acid and an alcohol to give you ester and water. Fermentation always involves sugar and yeast. It will always produce ethanol and carbon dioxide. Saponification is always the reaction between an oil or a fat and an inorganic base. This is the only organic reaction that involves an inorganic compound. It will always produce glycerol and soap. Combustion is always a hydrocarbon reacting with oxygen. It will always produce water and carbon dioxide. But we never off, but we zone to the break of dawn. S-E-I-E-N-C-E -E -E in the hall, they call S-Wing. You know we never wear a tie like my homies, boys, two men. It's so hard to say goodbye. Like, like this, that, and this, and uh. It's like that, and like this, and like that, and uh. It's like this. You're going in low power mode. Plug in chill to the next episode.